guys, my name is Patricia, also known as God's Design, here on YouTube, and welcome to my channel. So I'm coming in a little bit different today, different, because as some of you may know, I've been going through a little bit of a transition here, and um, so yeah, let's just make a long story short, and um, I'm actually not traveling anymore, um, got it, offered a position I just could not resist, so I moved to New York City super excited but that's really not why I came came on here because this week I moved into my new place and um, just like any other New York City apartment it is small so I'm working with a small space and I thought like why not like document this and show you guys what I've been getting show you guys the actual space that I'm working with and I'm just gonna make it like a short mini series until I'm finished decorating my space so I don't know if you guys are like me and just love um, like decor hauls and like decor videos and getting decor ideas so I just hope that I could share something with you guys um, especially those of you guys who are either living in studio apartments or considering moving out into a studio apartment or considering downgrading to a studio apartment so um, yeah before we get into that let's go ahead and just do a quick tour of the space so you guys know where I'm starting off from all right, let's go. Okay, you got a door right here. We're gonna face away from it for just a second so you guys can see the kitchen, okay? By the way, I didn't move anything in this apartment. I'm showing you guys as it was before I started recording. I'm not moving anything, so don't judge me. Whatever you see, do not just judge me, okay? So this is the front right here. There's a little bit of space right here which I intend on utilizing. The thing about New York, living in New York, is really maximizing your space to increase your storage, okay? So there's a little nook right here, and then another one right here that can fit like some sort of storage unit, maybe small or large. As you can see, I have a whole lot of junk over here, mainly my shoes, tripod, work bag, sneakers, whatever. So here's the kitchen. Now the kitchen is the biggest, well, I think one of the things that I love about the apartment. It's very like large for a New York uh, apartment. You have a stove which is full size, a fridge which is full size, not the half size. And then you also have a dishwasher which is like a luxury out here on these streets, okay? So, and it's all stainless steel and of course the microwave is up there. So it's just like your standard kitchen, but though it does have all the amenities of a regular kitchen, it is missing space, like it's missing storage. I don't have a pantry, which is something that I had in my old apartment. Um, I don't have that many drawers. I only have one drawer, which is this one, in the whole apartment, okay? So these over here, you can't open, all right? This cabinet, these two cabinets right here, and then that cabinet is the only one you have on the bottom. But there's quite a few um, cabinets you can store things up here in, so that's good. Directly behind me, this is probably the only thing I don't like about the apartment, is the closet. I don't like it, the fact that it's so close to the kitchen, just because you know you're cooking, but you got your clothes nearby, and you got your clothes smelling like food, but hey, it is what it is. Remember I said don't judge me all, I'm still getting set up, okay? But I'm gonna show you guys the size of it. So I'm not done, um, it's a good size, closet but it's just the only one I have so I really have to maximize on the storage in my unit period so there's like a, a little um, divider right here so I have casual on here on this side and then dressy and work on that side okay as you guys can see I still have my suitcases which are full of clothes that still need to be hung and or folded folded one more thing about the kitchen it has like this little open shelving unit right here which i really like i just have some random things on there right now i have a picture of me and my godson at the top a small assortment of candles just some rice and then a mason jar but this will probably change i just have that there for now and um yeah so let me show you guys the living room slash bedroom space okay so this is what it is um this actually came from my last apartment i don't know if you guys remember that but this is all it is. The apartment is about 400 square feet. So I have to put a bed, I have to put a vanity and or desk, um, a small love seat, 
you know, a shelving unit, TV, and even in like a dresser or armoire. So I've been brainstorming about different layouts that I think will work best. And I think I found the one that I think would work best for the space. So I'm really excited about actually trying out and see, trying it out and seeing how it would work. So this is the space. Okay. This is what it is. There's a AC unit right here that takes up a lot of room, but of course I'm, I'm glad that it's here. And then from here I have an awesome and beautiful view. A lot of light comes in um, on this side, so I definitely don't want to close off this area with any furniture because I want to allow as much light to come into the apartment. So from there, let me give the camera a chance to focus, there we go, is um, you know the hallway to the bathroom so there's a little bit of room right here and this is where i tend on putting a dresser i'm hoping that it is short but tall that way it can take up this whole wall and um not take up so much space in the actual unit so you know the whole thing is measuring measuring how long it is how deep it is so that it takes up this space from the from here to the wall without, you know, um, blocking off the hallway to the bathroom. So let me just show you guys my bathroom real quick. Like I said, don't judge me. I'm still getting organized and everything. You might see some white stuff on the floor right there. It's just some OxyClean that I have sitting in the tile because guys, it was tragic. My Lancome Tanti Doll Foundation fell on the floor and you know it's made of glass, so it shattered, okay? And so the brown got in between the things, so I'm putting that there, letting it sit. Anyway, y'all didn't ask for all that information. So, the bathroom is actually a pretty decent size, okay? So, I'd be able to fit some storage in here for sure. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do the bathroom like over the toilet storage. I've always hated those because it makes me feel, you know, claustrophobic while I'm like sitting on the toilet taking a dump. And that's the last thing you want to feel is claustrophobic in a bathroom. Too much information, but whatever, that's how I feel. So I'm going to have to look into some alternatives. Um, we'll make it work though. So, um, this right here, like, I've already dressed my shower. You guys may remember this from one of um, my last apartment. Okay, um, the last one that I had before I was traveling. And so I recycled it. I had it still, so I'm like, what? I love this, I bought it from Target. I was like, I'm gonna use it again. But yeah, so anyway, at first I was gonna keep the color scheme that I want for the other room in the bathroom. I'm like, why would I do that? Why don't I just have two different, you know what I mean? It's a different room, so it should have a different feel. So um, all I did was, um, and this is my first tip, all I did was change the hooks. So if you have like, you know, a shower curtain or you just want to add a different flair to your bathroom, change the, the hooks on the rod and it just kind of gives it, um, you know, a new look. So uh, that's what I did. And that's really the only thing I've gotten for the space. So I just want to share with you guys a few things that I've gotten for the new um, apartment. The colors that I want to go with, and I'll just go ahead and share it with you guys here. I may change my mind, but the colors I want to go with is like um, white, gray, with an accent of like a pale blue, not quite a Tiffany, not a seal blue, kind of like a baby blue slash like sky blue. So that's kind of what I'm going for. I've always liked lighter colors. You guys remember, remember from my last apartment, which was like, um, I, used, I had like mirrored furniture. It was like white on white with different textures. We want to add a little bit of color. And so I brought my sheets from TJ Maxx. So I spent 25 uh, bucks on it. And um, I haven't opened it so far because I don't have my bed yet. I haven't actually slept in here just yet. Um, I bought this air bed, okay? So that's a tip if you guys are waiting on a mattress when you guys just moved to your apartment. You can buy a bit, an air bed, um, which I, I had one, but for whatever reason, it's um, in storage. So anyway, so I bought this one, but I bought the one without the pump accidentally, so I have to return it. That's why I haven't slept in my apartment yet. So I'm gonna return that probably tonight. Um, I bought mine at Target. And uh, yeah, another thing that I bought is, I, I wanna like recommend like TJ Maxx, Ross, and Marshalls, and Burlington Co Factory for those of you guys who are getting started up in a new place, because they definitely have some good prices. Um, for some like everyday things that you don't think about from dishware to cookware, 
like for instance um actually i think it's back here yeah right here i bought this from tj maxx right here this small little pan right here from tj maxx and it's like really sturdy surprisingly it's like 13 bucks so i'm actually gonna go back and actually buy a set but i figured that would be good temporarily right now while i'm investing um in like a pot set and then i got some pot holders from tj maxx as well and let me show you guys the pail that i got in the bathroom because i don't think i showed you guys here it is uh oh see and the, and the thing is still on that so you guys can see it i bought it for 7.99 from tj maxx i really like it to me i think it just goes with this which is like you know earth warm sort of tones and it also matches i don't know if you guys caught that but it also matches the rods that are on here in a very subtle way so it's not too matchy matchy but it works so definitely hit up your local tj maxx marshalls and ross and see what you can get and also your local target i bought my pillows from target so they are ready for my pillowcases once i have my bed together um i'm trying to think of anything else i got this um i hope i'm not making you guys dizzy but anyway i bought this right here to hold my um paper towel right here i also got this from Burn to go factory for just a few dollars so yeah and it works so hopefully you guys will enjoy this series of me moving to york city and decorating my very very small studio apartment so stay tuned i'll be looking forward to seeing you guys very very soon in another video i hope you guys are well and in good spirits don't forget to hit me up on twitter facebook instagram periscope snapchat and on my other channel that's my vlog channel you guys have been part of the process of me moving and i talk more in depth about because some of you guys have been asking me for a life update on instagram maybe i'll do that a little later but if you follow me on my vlog channel y'all know everything already y'all know what's going on so <laughs> subscribe over there and um yeah guys i love you guys and i'll see you guys very very soon in another video and as always god bless